Welcome to another All About RVs. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2018 and a half RPOD 171. Take a few minutes, walk here on the outside and inside. On the front of this particular unit, it has the optional power tongue jack, which does have a manual crank in case it ever fails power wise. You have a single 20 pound propane tank with a hard bottle cover. You have a gas hook up here for a portable grill. There's room for up to two batteries on the front tongue. There's a hitch light on the power jack and a light on the front of the fiberglass part of the camper there. The R-Pod is a one-piece fiberglass front, roof, and back. Uh, so basically it starts right here above this diamond plate section and it runs all the way up to the back side so it does not have a multi-piece rubber roof system like most RVs the new R-Pod 18 and a half has a double entry step where previous versions were just single steps there's four stabilizer jacks here one on each corner the dump hose holder there has a screen door has the window in the door now, large folding entry handle, porch light, two outdoor speakers, TV antenna up top there, has larger 15 inch tires standard now, they are aluminum wheels, has a little LED running light here on the fender, you have electric outlet here, black tank flush to clean out the toilet system, storage across the rear end of the coach, that is the optional R-Dome awning on, in the box there. The 171 only offers the awning, or I'm sorry, R-Dome awning. The few other models have the option for a Thule awning or an R-Dome. You can do one or the other when you order the camper. You have solar prep on the back corner here. Spare tire. You have LED tail lights and running lights on the back. You can see the optional 13.5 BTU low profile air conditioner up top. Other side of the storage compartment here. Six gallon gas and electric water heater. Your dump station for your gray and black tanks cable and satellite hookups. The two black panels there are for maintenance and venting of the refrigerator. Outside utility shower with hot and cold water. City water hookups and freshwater tank fill and also low point drain for the freshwater tank down there. Detachable 30 amp power cord. Furnace exhaust out here. The stickers for your production date, VIN numbers, and tire pressures, things like that, are located here in the corner. Deep tent safety glass windows. The unit is a 2 inch hitch ball to tow it with. Has breakaway cable, has brakes on the axle, also has safety chains here. The axle is also a torsion flex axle, it's not a leaf spring axle. So it's a little more of an upgrade compared to a few other uh, wannabe R-Pod style campers out there on the market. We'll go inside here. This one was ordered with the optional 24 inch TV. This does flip around so you can watch it from the bed also. We've got a dinette up here that makes into a bed. Below the dinette is the electric box, furnace, got a few drawers and some cabinets, monitor panel area for your water tanks, turn it on your water pump, couple electric outlets on each side of the sink area here. Has the recessed stove with the glass cover so it is kind of acting as countertop if you're not using the stove. You have a flat surface cover here 
stainless undermount sink. A lot of brands are still using the plastic sinks that are above mount. High arch faucet. The new 18 and a half has a new radio now. It's by Furion. Has an HDMI input, Bluetooth, has a speaker select switch here also. You do have indoor and outdoor speakers again inside of the air conditioning area there. TV antenna handle to rotate it up there. This unit has the wet bath. So you got your toilet and your shower all in one. Nice exhaust fan up there. Has the sink with hot and cold water. Also has the ABS surround to protect the walls from water when you shower in there. Refrigerator is gas electric and 12 volt. Some of the other versions of these on the market are just gas and electric. They do not work off 12 volt. Optional convection microwave. Thermostat control for the AC and furnace. Got a little clothes hanger bar here above the bed area. Has the pleated nightshade over the windows. This is the stone decor inside. Some storage up above the optional convection microwave here. Again, this has been a video on the R Pod 171. I want to thank Couches RV Nation for letting me do the video. If you have any questions, be sure to check them out at CouchesRVNation.com. Thank you.